What's up, Golden, Golden Family? Family. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the channel. channel. Uh, for today's video is gonna be a, a quick uh, unboxing of our um, our baby uh, new stroller and the car seat. Um, the one we had prior, you can see over here, we had the baby trend, and we didn't quite like it. Uh, we'll go over that in the in a video uh, in a little bit, but we didn't quite like it, so we're gonna actually uh, return that one right now. And uh, as you can hear, uh, uh, Zamara is crying. Uh, she's in her swing right here. She's crying. But anyways, um. We're gonna do a quick unboxing of this and I'll show you guys uh, pretty much what's in the box. So the, the new stroller and the car seat uh, is pretty much a travel system. Uh, we got the, the Graco uh, Premier Modes Nest 3-in-1 uh, travel system. Uh, it has the uh, Snug Ride uh, Snug Fit 35LX um, car seat. So let's dive right in. And uh, oh, before we do that, this, uh, the reason why we actually got this one is because honestly, we were, we were really captivated by the fact that um, you could like adapt the car seat to the system itself. It uh, has an infant like a carry cot, which is like a bassinet. Um, this is sold separately though, so this piece is not in the box. And uh, you could obviously um, attach the toddler stroller to it. So, uh, first dibs, it's hopping right now. We haven't even seen this yet, honestly. So, our first. Yeah, but before you guys wonder why we're switching it, it's honestly because we actually don't really like, what is it? What is that the baby called? trend? Yeah, we don't like the baby trend, honestly, because the seat, the car seat has less cushion, and we don't like the way she sits in the car seat, and the shoulder rides too bumpy, so this is why yeah. I'm for this one. Yeah, that's true. And uh, and one uh, another thing is uh the... The baby trend, it's so bulky, like in the back of our um, our car. Even though we have an SUV, it's still like so bulky, like you go for groceries, like, and you have the baby stroller in there. It pretty much takes up all the room. So we actually, honestly, I don't think this is any smaller. So that's actually a, um, a test of theory as well. But for now, let's just dive in. Uh, Chris, I will tell you what she thinks uh, about this one. So first, uh, first look, uh, this is the, Midtown color, so I'm gonna try to just get everything out. Uh, this little box has the wheels in it. Put those down. Try to take this out with one hand. Uh, yeah. So I think this is um, I think this is a stroller frame itself. And uh, this is the, the infant seat adapter. So yeah, uh, th this is a, uh, uh, the solar frame. Uh, this is like a, I think a part of the infant seat adapter, maybe like a cover, like a shade or something. I think that's the cover. You know the huh? thing that pulls over the car seat? Yeah. That's what that is. Yeah, I think so too. Um, let me just get this little box of the way, sorry. Oh, we also have another dress at the bill, but that's a video for another time. Uh, this is the car seat. Oh, amazing. Nice. Really soft, actually. Uh, make you feel it. Okay, yeah. Feel it? See, from the, from the like, start off, mm -hmm. I already know this is going to be a good car seat. The cushion feels so nice. Yeah. And then I feel like, the quality, this, like this also has another thing over it. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. Other than the other one, the other car seat that we have. Oh no. So the other car seat that we have doesn't have much shade, so we kind of have to use the stroller yeah. to shade it whenever we're going to the store. But this one is pretty good. Uh, yeah, this one, this one, I would say this one compared to the baby trend that we had right here, you could literally tell the difference in, um, in like, like bolstering, like there is no form of cushion in at all inside the baby like, trend. It's, it's just really hard. hard. Like, like it's literally just plastic. Uh, this one, it's like all cushiony and you can also adjust the headrest, uh, up and down, but like, so, uh, um, Zamara's head won't just be like sticking off to the side and uh, these are these are really important too because on this one it didn't have any like um, cushioning on it so the belt was always on her neck and I'm sure that kind of made her uncomfortable which is why she always cried when she's in this car seat uh, uh, yeah it has like so much cushion in that joint it's really really soft I like it and you can also just obviously look at it and just tell by the materials that this one is a much better quality car seat uh, versus this one. So 
Um, Kristen's putting down um, Zamara now. Yeah, price matters when it comes to car sense. Yeah, it, it does. Uh, pricing absolutely matters. You you know that saying, like, you you pay for what, like, what's that saying? You, you, you pay pretty much pay for what you get, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> as, as first-time so parents, uh, yeah, this was about, this was almost $600, um, for, for this, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's on the steeper side of, uh, like, pricing, but, but we, we, um, I think it's worth it. yeah, and also, we didn't pay the full $600 for it anyway, we, um, we used the, the Bye Bye Baby coupons, and we think we got this for, like, half price, actually, so, yeah. I mean, as first time parents, we we cheaped out on the initial stroller and car seat. We just went to the store and grabbed a random one because, like, we didn't really know, you know, like. Yeah, because honestly, when we were grabbing this car seat, we we're thinking, okay, she's gonna grow out of it anyway, so I don't think we need to get an expensive car seat until she gets a little older. Right. But we noticed that it won't be working out like that, so we had to make the switch. Right. So, yeah, but uh, first impression, uh, this is uh, the quality of it is really good. Uh, I can see that it has nice stitching, has like a, the material is just so nice and soft. Like, and look how, like, oh, nice. Look at this. This is the, that's the major difference. This doesn't cover all the way. Yeah. This this so, yeah, <laughs> look at the difference. Like, pretty much half of it. So, this one would cover her all the way. So, really, no sunshade. Um, really, sunshine getting on her. This one. She struggled to even get a little bit of shade in there, so we had to, always had to have her inside the stroller. Mm -hmm. And when you do it, I like okay. pull this all the way down, and then she just gets hot. And right now it's a little bit hot outside, so we couldn't use a car seat cover with her in there anyway. It was too hot. So another great aspect of um of this car seat, uh, the greater car seat over the baby trend. On the baby trend, you have to in order to get like this uh this kind of rebound bar or whatever you call it, like the bar. In order to get it like forward or backwards, you have to use two hands. Obviously, I'm holding the camera with one hand and uh, trying to do it, so I can't really move it because you have to use the two latches, one on this side, one on that side. On the Greco one, you just press one little thing and it moves it forwards and backwards. So that's a great advantage already with this car seat out of the box. Uh, we have, I think this is the base. Ooh, the base looks massive. Ah, gosh. Yeah, that is the base, and it sure as hell is massive compared to um, the Baby Trend base. I think they're on the so same let's size. see. It's just the fact that this is curved and that is yeah. straight. So this one has a rebound bar for like uh, this goes to like the back of the seat. So like if you should get like rear-ended, um, the seat won't come like crumpling on um, to the car seat and the baby. So safety-wise, definitely like that. That's pretty good. I'm just I'm just a little bit worried about um, fitting it in her car because her seats are um the car is big but for some reason these car seats are just so massive that it takes up all the space even with a, an suv uh we have the back wheels which are massive actually compared to the baby trend wheels like you can see that yeah it's a massive difference so i think overall this should make uh the, the ride yeah either. right and the biggest perk about this is that these are actually the air-filled tires. So it's not just like rubber. It actually has air inside the wheels itself. Kind of like a bicycle tire. So yeah, nice. And uh, lastly, inside the box, we just have um, this handle. I'm not sure what it's for. We'll figure that out in a, in a sec here. And then we have the, uh, um, the manual. So we're gonna go ahead and assemble this real quick. I'm gonna get all these boxes out the way so we have more room. And we'll show you guys what it looks like after everything is done. Yeah, we'll show you, you guys in a sec. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna have to read all of this to kind of put it together. This is a cool little um, brochure that tell you what's in it. Um, thank you. So this is the 
actually like uh, assembled the back one. For some reason, this bar kind of doesn't like, like it's not like fast in there. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong. I have to check again, but it kind of just snaps in there. Like that. So I'm gonna try to put a scroll down and I'll see if there's anything else that needs to be done, maybe. Does it need to be tightened? That's what I'm thinking, but I don't see any screws or anything. Yeah. The book didn't say that either. Um, In. And uh, oh, that solved the problem with um, this doesn't. I said it wasn't like, fastened. Pretty much once it's like locked in place, you kind of see there's no room for it to move. So I guess that makes sense. You just grab the wheel and uh, let's push it in. It kind of has two grooves at the side. It's one is one way in. Once you get it's like locked in, and then the front wheels. She's on the chair. Right here. Front wheels, just pull these prongs off. Yeah, so you just attach them to it. It's pretty easy, actually. This is the easiest thing that we bought for the baby that is so easy to assemble. Literally. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, it, oh. This is a massive drawer. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually bigger than the other one. Yeah. In comparison, know. we'll show you guys in a second. Hold on. Alright, so just look at the comparison. Oh my gosh. A side by side comparison of this one compared to this one. It's a massive store. Uh so I, we're actually gonna go test it in the trunk what with the thing off of it to see how the difference because I'm pretty sure it takes up way more space. Yeah, this is gonna take up way more space than, than the baby trim. But, but on the bright side of it, at least the Mara has a nice comfy car seat. Yeah. Compared um, to the other one. I don't really care so much for the stroller. I just care more about the car seat and her be comfortable. Uh, oh, one cool thing, you can actually adjust the, the car seat uh, height. So I'm gonna put it on there and try to show you. So I'm guessing you attach it. Not really sure we're gonna touch this, guys. I guess we just put it in the groove. Like, wouldn't it be the other way around? Mm -hmm. It would be flipped. Yeah, but where's the groove? I don't see. I oh. see it. Yeah, it's on the side. The grooves are on the handle. Yeah. So just oh, snap it down. Interesting. Yeah. So the grooves are in the handle, like that. And uh, you could actually. Let me just get this other way. One sec. Wow, the huge difference, guys! It's crazy. So you can just uh, move this up and down. Uh, you can move this up and down by just squeezing these two hands right here, and you could adjust the height of the seat. So if you're like tall or short, you just not have the baby closer to you. You know, even kiss her real quick. Yeah, do that. And just bring down. And what I noticed too about the stroller, the difference, I actually feel like even though it's a, it's a bigger stroller, it's more convenient because look at the size of down right. here versus the other one. Like yeah. we could have barely got anything under the other one because the seat was sitting so low. Right. But this one is more high, so it's like I feel like it's better, even though it's a bigger stroller. I think it's better. Yeah. Um, well, uh, the thing is, this is a it's a massive stroller, so I'm not sure how we're gonna. And it's so simple, but neat. Yeah, it's. I like the quality of it. Like, look, it has like a leather handle. I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna pop these off. It has leather handle. Like, just look at the quality of this. Like, like it literally has like a leather piping around um, the the seat itself. And the difference this is, is so soft. This looks so expensive. <laughs> that one looks so cheap. Yeah, pretty much. I yeah. Mean, that's not at least that's not what 
we are, that's the theory that behind it was why we got it. We actually just want the practicality of the story. Yeah. yeah. And this kind of just works. Like we said, um, like we said before, cheap is not always the best route to go, to be honest. So yeah, now I'm just trying to figure out how to kick this thing back off. Um, is it the thing on the back you pull, like our, like the other one? Is it right here? Yeah. Is it recording? Right there, there's is a recording? thing right here. Is it recording? Yeah. So to get this, the thing off, just this little thing right here, look, pretty much like a pull handle, just pull it. And it comes right off. off. Just walk with her. And this is so light. Uh, this could not be no more than about, what, seven, seven pounds, baby. About, yeah, it's about seven to nine pounds. This is really light. So we're gonna just try to attach the infant seat to it right here. For the seat, it's the same theory. You just go ahead and uh, attach it, boom. And then the infant seat's done. Same thing, just remove it. Oh, you can also adjust the height of it. So. Oh, a thing we I actually want to try with this stroller is the fact that, um, so with this one, it could only be faced one way. But let's see with this one if it'll face outwards. Like, so yeah, to me. I think you can. Um, I'm pretty sure you can turn it to you. Just let me figure out how to get this thing off. Good. So the, one of the benefits to this is that you can actually turn it two ways. Uh, so you can have this turn to you or turn away from you, which is good. And I assume the car seat is the same way. Uh, you just squeeze these right here to get it off. So this one, can, I'm pretty sure it can turn this very well. Yeah, so you could fit both of them either away from you or, or towards you as, as a parent. So that's, that's really good. A uh, lot of the quality of the stroller, obviously. Like I said, this is the, the Great Co um, Premium, Premium uh, Mode Zest, so yeah, great stroller, lots of space. Uh, you can just take her, like, you know, to the mall, maybe grocery shopping, whatever. You have a lot of stuff in here. You can also bring this up some more or add a um, room. And yeah, I think it's a great stroller. So we have to test this out for for a couple of months and see. Um, obviously, at this point, whether or not this works, um, it is going to be, we're going to buy another stroller. So we're going to go ahead and just pack the baby trend um, back. Into the box and try to return to the target now, and um, yeah, this is what it looks like. There's two pieces right here. Uh, I think this is the handle, maybe. Yeah. Uh, oh, so this is the handle for for the, uh, the infant infant seat thing. I just add it right there, just so they're like comfy. You know, they won't fall out. So that's what that is for. I'm not really using that today, so we're gonna leave that for now. And I'm also assuming this is for the cover. Yeah, that is and a it's cover. like a shade for the, the toddler seat as well. And like I said, it's the same quality, like it's really good. Like it's cushioning, it's um like it looks like a premium scroller. I'm gonna lie to you. Really good. And we also have a cup holder. I think this goes to the side of uh oh, right here. So it goes on the side of uh, the scroller. That is it for the the baby trend, <laughs> the Graco modes, uh, premium modes nest travel system. Obviously, this is a stroller that you actually travel with, like if you were trying to take a plane. I'm not gonna lie, it looks big, so I wouldn't recommend this, but we'll go test it out and see. Uh, what do you think? Um, I actually like it better than the other one, even though it's a little bigger stroller. Mm -hmm. I think it's actually a really great stroller. Right. Uh, and the fact that it's so simple too and easy, like yeah. it's an easy thing, so I like it. And like I said, you can adjust the, the head on the head and headrest in the harness. I was pulling on this little thing. That's the best and thing it about it. So not only is this is this car seat gonna be a lot more efficient in terms of growing with her, but like with the baby trend, you couldn't 
can't, you can't can, adjust. Yeah. If it's you wanna, just like. It just has this in it. And if you want to adjust this, you have to flip this, this on, the, on, like, on the back of it. It has a harness on it or the, the, the car base. Seat base yeah. But you have to like undo all these just to adjust this. And like I said, nothing in this adjusts. This is hard. It's like a hard bucket seat. It's like it's like, it's like thinking what we like buying cars and it has like a racing bucket seat. That is the difference with this versus this being like a like a Mercedes S Class seat or something like that or Rolls Royce seat. So yeah, it kind of kind of makes sense. Um, so yeah, but we're gonna have we're gonna have Mama here, you know, test out her new stroller with her newborn and see how much she actually likes it. No, it does fit oh, you too. It does feel like you see how heavy it is. Like it yeah, feels. Yeah, it feels. It, it doesn't look as bumpy as the other one. Right. Yeah. Like look at that. I think it's way better. Like it looks expensive. It feels expensive. Oh yeah. That's crazy. It, yeah, yeah, for a Graco product, I'm definitely surprised because usually Graco baby seats aren't always the best. So I'm guessing they've really like upped their game. This is definitely on par with like uh, the Upper Baby and the, the Nuna um, travel system, which those are like in the thousand dollar range. And I mean, this is really that far off at $600. This is, yeah, this is definitely. This is it. Yeah. Definitely. So it's a nice yeah, so we, like we said, we give it a test. I'm gonna keep rambling on about the same thing over and over. Uh, you we can gotta... definitely see the difference though, I can't lie. Right. You can see the difference. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. She, like she's already in love with it. Yeah. Yeah, this is awesome. Anyways, we're gonna close up the video right now. We're gonna um, undo this one right now, put it back in the box, and head to Target. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.